Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So today's video is a bit different than the usual videos. It's not about the tech product, but it is about something that happens to Apple. That's why I'm holding this iPhone, actually. Uh, it's about a hostage taker that went to an Apple store here in Amsterdam. And how the story went on Twitter is that he asked for ransom. So it all happened about 5.30 p.m. Central European time. And this man went into the Apple store. He was shooting and there was this security guy running outside calling the police because no one had any idea what was happening. Some people thought there was firework going on, but actually what they hear was this man shooting with a handgun. So the first footage of this man taking a hostage went on, on Twitter and this is what people were filming. There are actually cafes in front, in front of the Apple store and as we see here is that the hostage taker is like pointing outside. He's taking the hostage on his arm with a gun and at first police thought the hostage taker was carrying a bomb, but eventually it was just a bulletproof vest. But that's what we will discover later on. Well, quick after that security guy called the police, police was just everywhere. That whole square that's called Leitzeplein was closed up. There were police everywhere, Police were shouting at people to stay home because there were homes everywhere around that area. So people were shouting at people to stay home uh, or just keep away from that incident or just leave the place as soon as possible. They closed that whole square and no one went in that square. Quick after the people from the arrest team, I'm not sure how they call it in the US, but here in Holland they call it Arrestatie team. They came as quick as possible. There was also a helicopter uh, flying around, flying above that area. I was a few blocks away from the incident, but I wasn't allowed to go there because that whole place was closed in just, in just a couple of minutes. But this is some footage I took from that helicopter. Um, yeah, basically that helicopter made sure that there was no one outside that area that was coordinated that guy inside Apple Store. So there was nothing sure about this guy. There were silk circulating messages on Twitter that he was asking for 2 million euros in Bitcoin. We should also remember that the employees of Apple were also inside the Apple Store and they were not allowed to go out. So they closed themselves in a canteen out of safety uh, just to secure themselves from that hostage taker. Uh, but he had that hostage in his hand still. He took him, um, he was pointing a gun at him. Uh, we have some footage, not videos, but a picture that shows that he was like sitting there and talking to that hostage. And eventually around 9 p.m., um, people from the Apple store could escape from that Apple store. They went out, but the hostage taker and the hostage were still in the Apple store. Um, it took about 30 minutes before the first robot came into place. Just that robot was meant to check for explosives. Um, at the end, that guy didn't have any explosives. When that robot came, something weird happened. The hostage managed to escape and this happened. So what we see from the footage is that the hostage managed to escape. He ran out of the Apple store, he ran outside and the hostage taker went after him. And in just a flash, he got hit by, the, by a car. So just to be, so just to make things clear, the hostage taker was the one that was hit by a police car. So they managed to hit him as hard as they could so that the hostage taker was just was just out. Uh, we are not sure. We're not sure what the status of that hostage taker, but the hostage managed to escape and he is safe now. Um, according to some newspapers, he doesn't have any damages. So that's that's good. Yeah, that's actually basically the story. It's a weird story that happened today. That man just chose to go and rob Apple store out of nowhere in a clear day with people walking out outside and that's not something that happens in Amsterdam as well. Amsterdam is basically a very safe city to walk and this thing happens once in a lifetime I guess. Yeah that's actually it. I wanted to um, yeah share this little story that happened here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys in the US were aware of it. If the newspaper wrote about this thing uh, I think 
I saw something on Mac Rumors. They uh, wrote something about it, but not that big. So I guess it's not that big of a deal over there or some somewhere else in the world. But it was something was a big of a deal here in, in the Netherlands. Yeah, and that's actually it. Um, if there's anything more about it, I'll leave an update about it on YouTube or Twitter. You can follow me over there. Um, for you, for the guys who don't know, I have a Twitter account. I'm not that active on it yet. But uh, I'm planning on to um, yeah post more often on Twitter so that you guys keep um, getting information about tech products because that's what this channel is all about. Uh, it's about tech product. It's about Apple products to be more precise. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.